Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Green here with no more news.org. It is December 5th, 2019. Who is ready for a little bit of Messiah propaganda? Oh, here we go. Lost one. We're going to go over some Messiah propaganda from Netflix. No more news.org. We're live. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing a D live exclusive stream immediately following this stream that'll be posted on BitChute. And I'm going to go over, I'm going to watch the highlights from the David Icke appearance on Alex Jones the other day, talking about Sabatine Frankism, the Israeli tech takeover, and uh, my analysis on that, as well as the Alex Jones article that was out today in the New York Times written by his former cameraman um, Joshua Owens so that'll be on D live after this I'm gonna drop the D live link in the chat <clears throat> and it'll be on BitChute. if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to BitChute and D live get the apps for your phone they give you notifications on D live whenever you you go live the the December 10th purge is supposed to be coming. Owen Benjamin already got booted off. I guess he had a warning the other day as well. And uh, it's not looking good on YouTube. Everybody's moving to DLive. So that's what we're doing. But in this video, we are going to be talking about Messiah and Netflix. Good old Netflix with their propaganda. Just saw this tweet, although it came out uh, two days ago. Messiah Netflix, this new account for this new show. Who do you think he is? Messiah began streaming January 1st, the first of the year, only on Netflix. Hashtag Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming to Netflix. And we're going to show, uh, play the trailer and go over some of the comments and then uh, give a little analysis on it. So let's see here. We also have, uh, it's got half a million views, came out two days ago. And we'll go over some of those comments and some of the top hashtags on Twitter for hashtag Messiah is coming. Then I'm going to do a little bit of background on Netflix that I've covered in the past. So let's get started and start this. Got it uh, slowed down and tilted a bit to hopefully get around the, the sensors, but I'll pause it. Uh, every now and then. If you want to watch the whole thing, the link is in the description below. Here we go. He's come out of nowhere and we don't know who he is. What do we know about him? He's leading desperate people. So this is a cult? We don't know who he's associated with. He could be creating an army. Or he could be leading them to their death. So, is it uh, the Messiah or is it the Antichrist? People are speculating in the comments about what the plot is going to be. A lot of there's a lot of Muslims saying that it's their Antichrist figure, the Dajjal. I'm wondering if it's going to have some uh, Moshiach connotations into the script. And uh, it's it's interesting. All three Abrahamic religions uh, take an interest in this because they all have the similar uh, messianism and they all have the Abrahamic roots. And just a little bit, oh, and I'll finish. I'll show the Netflix propaganda after. What are you doing in Syria? Syria. Can you give me a message? A message from whom? My father. Delivering a message from my father. Looks like there's some kind of uh, a message from whom? Storm here. My father. Like he's orchestrating some kind of apocalypse storm. This, uh, and I'm, I always joke about the end time dystopia uh, movie that we're living in, and now it's like we're getting we're getting a Netflix version of it. I know he's your father. We've lost it. What do you mean? He just disappears. No one just disappears. So he does miracles, disappears from a jail cell, cell apparently. Witnessed a miracle. He saved my daughter's life. Saving people's lives. 
and this is fair use to YouTube, don't get crazy. Obviously, I'm doing uh, commentary. You need to see this. I've heard this before, you know, about all the miracles that uh, they say are performed, how uh, there wasn't cell phones. Nowadays, uh, everybody's got a cell phone. So uh, if, some, if it's not on film, people don't believe it happened. It's kind of the litmus test for things nowadays. For as long as you can. Keep he didn't just bearing. click his heels and end up here. He clearly had help. You get around Syria, Israel, Texas. There's a little flash. It, it, how do you get around Syria, Israel, Texas? Interesting Israel and Texas because you look at the Christian Zionist and even the Noahides in Texas. And um, there's a lot of parallels. Texas is uh, one of the home bases for Christian Zionism in uh, America for sure, which is how they have a grasp over the country with the Republicans and with the uh, foreign lobbies controlling both sides. Israel, Texas. It's the nature of my work. And what is that work? God's work. It's the nature of his work to go around to all these places and do God's work. Who do you think he is? You didn't see what I saw. And if I did, would I be calling him the second coming? Second coming, the, the light behind him kind of looks like a Jesus figure, but he's Middle Eastern, so by far the majority of the people, as you'll see in the comments, are saying that it's the Dajjal figure. They're speculating he's going to have an accident and, and lose one of his eyes. How far will, will this new movement spread? I'm going to find out everything about you. January 1st, so let's try to see it a little slow. How far will this new movement spread? Will he convert you or will he con you? It, I thought about this before. If somebody came along in modern days and was saying that the, they're the son of God or they, you know, uh, it, if they were saying stuff similar to in Jesus' times, people would like lock him away in the loony bin. Or some people would follow and we could have some type of scenario like this. When you do look at cults, there is cult leaders that convince their followers to do amazing things. Commit suicide. I'm going to find out everything about you. That, that might have been the, the Dome of the Rock blowing up. Let's see that again. Hold on here. Definitely like a Middle Eastern building. Will we see a Dome of the Rock? in the plot or any of the the jewish end times prophecy with the moshiach they want them now they don't want to wait and now netflix 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 has a uh series on it this is bigger okay so let's do let's read some of these comments now that's that's the thing messiah is coming Let's, uh, we have Dajjal. Oops, a lot, a lot of Muslim stuff. The island of Dajjal, intense series. Not too many people that I follow are commenting on this. I don't even know. Uh, it's not. I, I'm backed up on emails, but I'm not sure if everybody was sending me this. I saw a face like a sun. The sun uh, shared it. And my, my tweet was uh, Moshiach predictive programming from Netflix. It's a little early to tell which way they'll take it. But this is uh, Messiah porn. Uh, Christians are going to say it's a blasphemy. Is this predictive programming, like persuasion, kind of foreshadowing? So people are willing to accept this uh, Messiah figure, the, the Antichrist? Both in Islam and in Christianity, they basically believe the person that will come and make a peace deal and sit in the temple in Jerusalem, that will be the Antichrist. And that fits the description for the Jewish Chabad Lubavitch Moshiach. 
I wonder what Duvid's going to say about this. All the Muslims are pissed. They were shocked from the second this was released. Oh, I guess this is what I've heard. I'm not sure if this is true, but Netflix first used the title Mesa Ad Dajjal, Arabic for false messiah, as the character name, but changed it later after people realized predictive programming slapped in our face. I don't think that's the way the second coming is supposed to go down. <laughs> I don't think they sleep. They must work 24 uh, 7. Netflix, no thanks. Somebody's going to cancel. Okay, what happened there? Why didn't they cast Jared for the lead? Yeah, Jared Kushner. Jared looks a lot like um, the the Rapture series Left Behind. The the guy, he died, the, the writer of that died, but all about the Rapture and the Tribulation, the movie series and the book series. Uh, the guy, I think his name is Jim LaHaye. He founded that. He founded the CMP, the Council for National Policy, the right-wing uh, Christian Zionist think tank or, you know, a little group that is so... Uh, prominent the, the guys from antidote and matthew north used to talk about cmp i'm not really an expert um i believe john swin of expose the enemy has covered them as well prepping the masses for the real christ but there will be fakes you know this whole idea of, of a, a messiah figure show coming out it makes me think about the book that i've covered in uh it's kabbalah meditation for the nations by rabbi yitzhak ginsburg I cover it in Kabbalah supremacy <clears throat> in these videos here on the featured videos. And they say how both Islam and Christianity, although they're idol worship and they're, they're evil, that's what they say in the book, that there's a, a silver lining and there's a, a bit of goodness because it pushes the idea of the Torah and messianism and salvation through, through Jews uh, in the ideas of Christians so that they could, they could, uh, as a stepping stone for them to become Noahides and help them fulfill their end times prophecy. I would, I would be hilarious if Netflix had a show called Moshiach or a movie called Moshiach and it was just all of this stuff that I've been talking about on my channel coming about. This may be close, but the, the Islam version says, uh, now it's just not in the wheelhouse for Jesus to use Netflix to announce his second coming, is it? These are the comments on, on mine. NKVD, don't know what that means. Synagogue, okay. Mel Gibson. Oh, we maybe not show that. And then here, let's see some of the top comments on this, on the video. Let's see how the thumbs up are. 4.8 down, 8.9 up, half a million views. This is the, the top comment, 268. It says, the trailer has received negative receptions on Twitter where the merciful, so I guess like Allah, where users have already predicted the plot of the show, one user was blocked by both the official Twitter accounts of Messiah and Netflix for spoiling the twist ending where the character the official trailer attempts to portray as and suggests is Jesus is actually the Antichrist trying to trick people. This was predicted due to Netflix revealing the character being played by Mahib Midi Debi playing, I already said that, that Ad Dajjal, which translates to the Antichrist in Arabic. This refers to the Islamic prophecy of the Antichrist pretending to the, be the Messiah to trick people into following the devil. The prophecy states that some of the signs, that's why it's so crazy, the Christian Zionists that are helping the temple and helping Chabad and teaming up with the ultra-Orthodox, they are essentially teaming up with the Pharisees that killed Jesus to uh, usher in the Antichrist is what they were doing. Uh, the prophecy states that some of the signs he will be a pretender, he will have one eye, have the word disbeliever written on his forehead. When one user commented, I predict he will accidentally lose one eye. He was blocked by the official accounts and had his tweets hidden by the original poster, suggesting he had accidentally predicted the plot of the series and the twist ending. Wouldn't that be interesting if, if that, all that did come about? Uh, side note, I've talked about Kushner and Moshiach in many videos, but uh, in the movie, oh, what is it called? Deadpool 2, he shoots a guy, he, call, he calls a guy Jared Kushner, and he shoots him, and I think he shoots him in the head or in one of the eyes, so that would be like the one eye thing connection to Kushner, I know it's a little crazy, but these people are crazy writing these things, truth is stranger than fiction, and that's what I was going to say, is the guy that made the 
left behind books that they made in the movies the antichrist figure was like wearing a suit kind of looking like jared kushner and also in the purge movies who kushner's got a connection to the publicist and bloomhouse being all anti-white and stuff with their propaganda he looks kushner looks a lot like the guy on the purge video and in the uh the omen and in uh, i forgot what i was just talking about left behind deadpool Story of Dajjal, this would go nearly finished. May Allah save us from its evil. May Allah help everyone. They're making a movie of Dajjal. Even Shaitan is confused. This movie is based on Dajjal. Hope I'm saying that right. In Islam, the protagonists, Dajjal, are also called Antichrists. They're saying he's going to lose the eye. Here, here's somebody uh, says that description of the Dajjal is short big build body red curly hair i heard that muhammad had red hair as well one eyed dried like a grape and kafir written on his forehead and that got 50 thumbs up so maybe also white reddish sounds like donald trump we live in a time where antichrist what are you guys saying let me check the chat here let me know your guys' thoughts. All right, I'm looking at the chat now. But it's interesting how it's... Uh, we'll see how if there's a theme with like all the religions coming together under this leader. And any type of uh, world, world government type of thing. King of the Jews. Yeah, just a couple... Like a month ago, we had Trump saying he was chosen by God and King of the Jews and... Antichrist was trending. What else? Red Heifer, I wonder. Oh, there was a whole show on... Oh, was that on Netflix? It, it was. Oh, what is that show? Dig. Let's see. Dig, I-M-B-D. There's a show called Dig. And it's all about the end times prophecy of blowing up the Dome of the Rock. From the creators of Homeland and Heroes. And I, I did a video all on this. The creator of Heroes uh, in the Hero series also had some weird 9-11 uh, correlations and conspiracy stuff. And this is a show, Dig. Uh, FBI agent stationed in Jerusalem who, while investigating a murder of a young female archaeologist, uncovers a conspiracy 2,000 years in the making. And they had a, a young... Um, Messiah-like figure and the red heifer and all of the ultra-Orthodox Chabad Lubavitchers with the hats and stuff. So that's one show. Here, let, and let me show you some of this other uh, Netflix propaganda here. Look at all these shows. Netflix is so, so pro-Zionist, it's, it's disgusting. Inside the Mossad is one show, a documentary series, bragging about how Mossad is so awesome. It was on Netflix, four-part miniseries documentary. And then they got Mossad 101, also on Netflix, is a drama thriller TV series about Israeli secret spy academy. Inside the Oh, I just realized. Watch this. Uh, there's another show called... Uh, Divers, Mossad, Netflix. They're just coming to me. But the other one is the Red Sea Diving Resort. Here's another Netflix. Just for the record, there's not one person in this group that I... The Red Sea Diving Resort. This was a famous Mossad front where they were smuggling in Jews, I believe. And uh, so another Netflix Inspired by remarkable true life rescue missions, the Red Sea Diving Resort is the incredible story of a group of international agents, Mossad agents, and brave Ethiopians who in the early 80s used a deserted holiday retreat in Sudan as a front to smuggle thousands of refugees to Israel. The undercover team... Okay, so there you go. Another... Yeah, on Netflix. So that's another one that's on Netflix. Inside the Mossad on Netflix. Oops. Mossad 101 on Netflix. The Spy with Sasha Baron Cohen, the ADL's new uh, poster boy for censorship all over the internet. This is another Mossad spy movie on Netflix. 
there's fada as an in intifada a fight that makes uh palestinians all terrorist and the israelis the badass commandos forward netflix the spy raises the bar for Mossad thrillers but it doesn't break new ground because they've had tons of Mossad stuff haritz opinion how netflix fell in love with the Mossad, fell in love i mean Netflix has echoes around it. They're 100% Zionist propaganda. For years, I've been covering um, their anti-9-11 truth. Well, I'll show you the, some of the videos I've done on that. Ten of the best Israeli shows to watch on Netflix and Amazon. Let's see if I'm missing any. Homeland. I just saw a show recently too. Oh, what is it called? It's called like De Decapitation or not Decapit. D De something. I can't remember the name of it, but the whole plot was that uh, Mossad was helping the US, the FBI, the CIA fight the Chinese. And I'm thinking, Joan, uh, you know, all these Zionists are always talking about the Chai Coms and China is the big threat and that uh, the Israelis and the Zionists are our friends. And it was the exact plot of the show. I saw it on Netflix too. I can't, it started with a D. 12 Israeli shows to binge watch, binge watch now that you're done with shit. Oh, and that's the other thing. Netflix, uh, Ultra Orth. I can't believe I didn't get this one up before. I just watched a show called um, on Netflix all about a guy that I think this might be it. I, t I covered it. The guy dates a, sh a shiksa and the mom gets all pissed and it was dubbed, dubbed into English. God, I can't remember the name of that one. There's just so many. Okay. Some of the other videos I've done, Netflix thinks 9-11 truth is hilarious. They had a, uh, a lot of these are the original series too. Netflix, Netflix thinks 9-11 truth is hilarious. Netflix propaganda targets 9-11 truth again. Another original show, Netflix show mocks 9-11 truth. So we'll show some of those. And, and then there was this one, Nick Kroll's 9-11 propaganda exposed by Christopher Bolin and Adam Green. What did I do? October 27th, 2017. Ch check out, I'll show you a little highlight of this. You're watching. No I mean. 9-11 was an inside job. Troll! Mods! Nerds, others pwned. And him. Let's continue our civilized discussion. So that's one of the shows. Banning the 9/11. I mean, it's possible that Building Seven was a controlled demolition. Nope, locking the thread. I'm just going to assume it's another myth. The government. So that was like a representing a message board, and then a troll comes in and talks about 9/11. And then they say building seven and then they go, nope, blocked mods, ban them, calling for censorship of these ideas, which which YouTube has since then implemented openly. Government's telling us. Like 9-11. Hmm? What? Yeah. No. Totally. Yeah, like 9-11. You're you're a truther too. Oh yeah. I mean any intelligent person can see the government was in on it. And then somebody commented recently and gave me Okay, now here's the Nick Kroll, and Nick Kroll's family has all these connections to two more Netflix original shows that have 9-11 propaganda. And the first one comes from a show called Big Mouth. It's an animated cartoon. Mm -hmm. It's created by Nick Kroll, mm -hmm. who is the youngest son of, of Jules Kroll. Jules Kroll. Mm -hmm. So we'll play that clip. So Netflix original show. It's always the original shows with the propaganda. Original series. Mm-hmm. Big Mouth, Nick Kroll, the star, mm -hmm. created by him, Goldberg, Levin, executive producer. This is him, he's got a Comedy Central show. Mm -hmm. He's the son of Lynn and Jules, corporate investigations and risk consulting, youngest, youngest child in the family, his brother Jeremy, and grew up in a conservative Jewish family. Mm -hmm. Here's a fun fact, Stevie Wonder wrote the song Sir Duke about me. 
And he's been faking his blindness his entire life. That sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory. <laughs> you should hear my views on 9-11. How come all the Jews knew not to come to work that day? No, that's been proven to be untrue. You're picturing it, and we're talking about it. Oh, here we go. So this is the Nick Kroll Show. <clears throat> all these references to 9-11 trying to make fun of 9-11 truth with with jokes hiding the propaganda in the entertainment even so far later he's been faking his blindness his entire life that sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory <laughs> you should hear my views on 9 11. how come all the jews knew not to come to work that day no that's been proven to be untrue you're picturing it and we're talking about it <laughs> uh, anyway duke i wanted your advice and i guess i still do 16 years later they have their son on Okay, so if you, I'll put the link, uh, I'll do the link in the chat right now if you guys want to watch that whole thing. But let's go back and, uh, here, let's see. We showed this one. 9-11, hilarious. Okay, I showed all these. These are all that buried when I tried to search them reg regular on YouTube. They were all buried. See what else people are saying here. The real Antichrist propaganda we are being fed. Messiah is coming. Who's this? Read read the Quran all day, every day. Read the Quran is all I'm gonna say. It's ironic that the guy playing the role of Antichrist, okay, is called Oh, I guess his name in real life is Mehdi in real life. Dajal shown by First of January. Yeah, the, the Muslims are going crazy. This is what he's supposed to look like, apparently, with the one eye. Netflix did it again by choosing a controversial topic. Now it's trending and everyone is talking about it, and I don't know what that hype is for, for Dajjal, seriously. Let's go back and read a few more of the top comments. We live in a time something evil. I read that one already. Every single comment is about the Dajjal. He's going to lose his eye. The whole trailer is scary. Father, he's joking, right? I'm betting the series will convert or revert a lot of people. It's like they're preparing the world for Dajjal to come. This, this person says, first the name was Messiah El Dajjal. Then IMBD asked them to change the name. Be prepared. Everything real is going to come between us end times. Who is Dajjal? A false messiah, the last test of humanity. He needs to have something. This is Antichrist. All right. That's about it for the comments in this one. Let's let's see the, the chat one more time. Let's see what you guys are saying. Catch me on D Live after this stream. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show David Icke on Alex Jones the other day, and then go over the New York Times article about Jones, written by his former cameraman that came out today. I'll be reviewing the highlights from that. Where is it? This New York Times article. I'll be going over this. I worked for Alex Jones. I regret it. Came out today. I'll be reviewing that. And David Icke on Alex Jones was interesting. So catch me over there on D Live. Sign up the app. You can find it through my website. Make sure more than ever, I got to say it on every show, that uh, the censorship is coming hard. So you got to go to the websites. Got to go to people's websites. Got to follow us to new platforms. YouTube is dying. Uh, alternatives are gonna are they're not the greatest now but they're gonna get better when we start supporting them and, and and spending our time there they're one click away D live and bit shoot I also heard that bit shoot is gonna be trying to get streaming sometime soon so I will see you guys over on D live links in the chat uh, if you uh, want to support no more news thanks to everyone that has I can't do it without you every dollar helps 
and your support means the world to me. If you support my content and want to see more of it and value the information, help any way you can. All right, that's all for now. Adam Green, no more news. See you over on DLive. And the, it'll be posted on BitChute after it posts there. So you guys take care. Thanks for watching. Actually, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to read a couple of comments first. And then we'll close out. Kushner is the Antichrist. <laughs> Christians' understanding of Muslims and their love for Jesus is it's nothing but semantics holding us back. Yeah, Islam has much more favorable view of Jesus than than Judaism does, for sure. But the the Jews got Islam and Christianity played off one another, but then they also go and team up with both sides also, with the unholy alliance. And now this uh, this new series will just add to it. Add to the division and the controversy. Let's see. <laughs> Any comments? You guys' thoughts? I don't know how much the... The Antichrist is all is hidden in the hundred dollar or hundred shekel. Look it up if you don't believe me. Maybe uh, Zioclops. What's his name? Dan Crenshaw. Maybe he's the... Uh, He's the Dijal. No hide laws forbid Jesus Christ. Yes, they do. Make sure to get the get the apps, BitChute and DLive. No more news .org is uh, you can get sign up, get the apps, sign up, register up. YouTube is dying. No. Truth behind, I didn't do the truth behind the pornography industry, although I've touched on it, but I did do one about the music industry, yes. Jesus in Islam is a false Jesus. No, I've, I heard that they just think he's a, a prophet. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for joining me. I will see you guys on DLive. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.